Okay, this is the basic Buffalo bag, the 4S outer. It's made from Aquatherm Extreme Pile with a Pertex shell. The pile and Pertex give extremely high performance. The pile fabric provides insulation and the Pertex, a water resistant windproof outer shell, keeps warm air in but lets any moisture generated inside be wicked away onto its outer surface where it evaporates, keeping you warm and dry. It must be pointed out though that although pile and Pertex withstands a half inch per hour of rain, it is not waterproof. On the hill, it is advisable to use a bivy bag. A three quarter length front zip and zipped visor means you can totally enclose yourself inside. Most people will use this bag on its own, keeping you comfortable between the end of March to the end of September, and it will see you down to zero Celsius. The bags are actually part of a system. The outer is called the 4S because combined with the 4S inner and thermal liner, it's a four season bag in the UK. It's a system because you can use the bags individually for conditions not requiring a full four season performance. The 4S inner is an Aquatherm Extreme Pile bag with a hood but without a Pertex shell. It's ideal for using in bothies, tents or inside cold caravans in winter and that sort of use in cold indoor conditions. It attaches to the outer bag by toggles and loops so the bags work as one and if you turn over in your sleep both bags move together. The inner also has loops and toggles which allow the thermal liner to be attached inside. Like Keith is doing here, because he's bedding down for the night in his muddy gear and boots, the thermal liner protects the pile of the inner. The thermal liner inside the pile inner traps body heat and any moisture produced by excess heat is dispersed through the filaments of the Pertex liner into the fibres of the inner and outer and into the Pertex outer shell where it dissipates into the atmosphere, keeping you comfortable. Like all the Buffalo gear it's extremely durable and it lasts for years and it can be passed on from generation to generation. It's easy to wash in a large washing machine using just a small amount of non-biological detergent or, as has been done on expeditions in the past, it can be weighted down in a fast flowing stream. You can tumble dry but only on low heat. Hang it up in a warm room from wet and it will be dry the next day. You see, the beauty of the pile and Pertex system is that it will still keep you warm even if it's wet. That's why, amongst a myriad of other users, round the world yacht teams use the bags because they perform in cold and wet conditions, whereas other sleeping bags don't. A criticism sometimes levelled against buffalo bags is that they are bulky and heavy, and the 4S outer weighs 1.6 kilograms, but that performance against other types of bag in cold damp conditions which let's face it is what most of us get, is exceptional. They were tested in Scottish winters, need I say more. The outer and inner have their own stuff sacks and the outer has a compression spider to compress its bulk. The thermal liner only weighs 230 grams and is easily stuffed away in the corner of a rucksack. On its own, the thermal liner can be used as a liner for use in hostels, or in warmer conditions where insulation isn't required. But critically, it doesn't absorb moisture like cotton liners. Corinna has a 4S outer and the same as Keith's, just a different colour and size. But what she does is replace the inner and thermal liner that Keith used with a Buffalo lightweight outer. Instead of the heavier Aquatherm Extreme Pile used in the 4S system, this bag uses Aquatherm Pile, the same as used in the Mountain and Special 6 shirts, and so it's much lighter. It was developed for endurance runners where weight had to be kept to a minimum. Really, it's classed as a summer bag, and although hooded, it doesn't have a visor enclosure. It's a popular bag where low weight and bulk are a priority, frequently used for mountain marathons and also by touring cyclists. It compacts down and is easily stuffed into panniers. It's a very adaptable bag. What Corinna is essentially doing is using it with a forest outer to make a three season bag. And because Corinna's clothes and boots aren't as grubby as Keith's, she doesn't need a thermal liner inside to protect the pile. The advantage of this is that she doesn't need the same amount of clothing because the instant feeling of warmth from the pile, as opposed to the nylon of the protective thermal liner, raises her body temperature very quickly. 
In fact, this is actually an important issue and is why mountain rescue teams use buffalo bags as casualty bags. A hypothermic casualty doesn't generate heat, but the instant warmth of the bags helps raise their core temperature. In colder conditions, the lightweight outer could be replaced by a 4S inner and thermal liner like Keith used, but using the thermal liner outside the inner, to all effects making two 4S outers. The 4S outer and lightweight outer are then packed together into a double stuff sack. Remember, both these bags can be used independently or with a combination of other bags. All the bags come in sizes small, medium, large and extra large and the size chart on the website explains the sizing. This bag, the super bag, is really intended for high altitude use in dry cold and where weight and bulk are critical. Using your buffalo clothing, shirt and salopettes or special six trousers in place of the pile inner. It consists of a bag like the 4S outer with a detachable thermal liner so you get into the bag with all your kit on. The pertex of the liner prevents snow adhered to clothing from getting into the fibres of the pile fabric. It has a baffled front length two-way zip for ease of access so that it can be opened from the top or bottom and a zip visor means you can totally enclose yourself. The arm zips let you get your arms out so you can make a brew or do whatever you need to do without getting out of the bag. These zips are also baffled to prevent wind penetration and because dead air inside a bag cools very quickly and causes chilling there are three lateral shock cord adjusters sewn into the pile which can be drawn in to make a snug fit. Incidentally this bag originates from a development we did for drivers of Chieftain tanks. Chieftain tanks didn't have any heating, so the crew would get very cold. The arm zips allowed them to use their arms to operate the steering and other instruments, whilst the two-way front zips meant they could have their feet outside the bag so they could operate the foot pedals. All this whilst wearing a sleeping bag. In fact here we see Keith in the bag brewing up, the bottom front zip open to air his legs. It all packs down easily into its stuff sack and the compression spider reduces the bulk. All in all, buffalo bags are unique, not the normal run-of-the-mill sleeping bag at all. Their originality is highlighted by the fact that they are actually what Pertex was invented for.